Right, for my good point, here's what I've picked, and I've very carefully phrased it. I didn't say what I could have said, which was just the I Am Clone final. I said what the really the, behind that is, which is I actually think the good point right now is the phase Navi rivalry. That is what I'm loving right now. Because I know it's a lot of fans. This is where fans get really boring because they become like sports fans. You know the way they do that thing where like one second before both the major final and the I Am Cologne final, everyone didn't think FaZe was going to win. You're all liars. You're all liars. None of you tweeted that. None of you bet on FaZe. You all said, not I think Na'Vi will win. You said, I know Na'Vi will win. You said FaZe is overrated. They just got lucky in those tournaments because of the war with fucking Ukraine. And and then what happened was the second phase won both of these finals. People just went, oh, Na'Vi sucks and Simple's bad. And like, what the hell? It was obvious phase would win. And the reason I bring this up and frame it that way is because everyone isn't actually somehow loving this rivalry. Like, here's the good news about this scenario. Yes, the two big moments were the Major and Cologne, right? And kind of eat it. Yeah, those are the big ones at phase one. Aside from that, though, actually Na'Vi is one of the only teams that have properly punched back. Like they beat them before that at kind of eat it. They beat him obviously in the blast. Like this is actually this is like a fucking sick if you don't watch CS score history this is going to be an amazing rivalry if these two teams stay with the same lineups and they keep meeting in the next like three four so it's going to be like this like I don't get the vibe where these teams meet except for like the blast scenario where occasionally Na'Vi might blow them out it's either going to be like Na'Vi goes crazy like that, or it's going to be amazing games like this because I even think like if you wanted to make a matchup you know like they say in MMA and boxing and UFC they always say that famous line styles make fights because you want to have two different styles and that's what makes it this is what makes this team amazing because Navi has like all the firepower in the world but then FaZe has like just enough firepower and like all the clutch factor fucking two man players and everything like this you couldn't fucking cast a better match than this so even though everyone else is like nah it's boring because FaZe wins all the time I think it's amazing like that final could have been won by both teams on almost every map like it was incredible You're, you genuinely can't ask for matches like that like they just drop out of the heavens so if we can get more of those this year that will actually save CSGO because if you notice, from like positions three to like 12, it's all over the fucking place. Yeah. No one knows. So these two teams are like, they're making CS look legit right now. They're actually giving you real world class CS. Yeah, I, I agree. The rivalry is there, definitely. And that's something we needed. Like, we didn't have that for yes. a while. Last time, was it was it like that fake rivalry between uh, Astralis and Liquid? It yes. wasn't really right because <laughs> Liquid, the Astralis didn't even play half of the tournaments and Liquid won the Grand Slam. It's like, you know, wasn't even there. And, and, and right now we really have the, 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 the true sure. rivalry there. And it, I'm just afraid of, you know, like I said, orgs effing up the, the, the lineups or them doing it themselves right now. Why, for me, Simple is the best player by far in the world. Right? He's, he's the best player, right? But FaZe is the best team right now. You know, and, 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 and we said the best player... The absolute yes. best player can win you a tournament or two, right? For sure. You know, but the best team will always be more successful, right? And it's like you have you have why is why is FaZe the best team? Because they have elite player in every role they play, right? You can you have Kerrigan, you know, you can you know, Hall of Famer, Hygel, one of the best that we ever had in, in the game. You know, every team that he joined was a became became better instantly. Right. You can say all about his frags and, you know, his style and whatever. Right. But every team that he joined become became better. Let's remember that mouse with, with Frozen and, and Robs that won like five tournaments in a row, played six finals, whatever. Astralis and TSM and question, team question mark Fnatic before that, you know, every team that he was in, it was better. And now you have other players like Robs who got there for free by some. Oh, my God, that's another point. But the thing is, like, they have twists, which they picked up, you know, for another another elite player in an elite role. And Rain, obviously, a Hall of Fame, another Hall of Fame player. Best entry, I think, that CSGO had from the beginning till now. I think you can say like that. And all together, like we said, they have the elite players on every single position. They made it work. But there is a expiration date on this lineup okay. at the very, that's coming very fast for them. Right. So... Getting a plan, three-year, five-year plan coming in because they have the core of three very young players, but they have two players with an expiration date on them. Oh, so that's that what needs you mean, to, right. Yes. That needs to be managed if you want to keep that trial, if you want to yeah, keep true. that pace. Yeah, yeah. Because phase was in 2021 non-existent, not competitive team at all. They made one playoffs in Cologne, and that was their whole year. 12 months of phase. Sure. You know? 
that was that. And then 2022, they have all this success and, you know, nearly a Grand Slam and, you know, they're playing the, like the best team in the world right now and that can all turn around. But they have the core of three young players and they have, you know, two older players that needs to be, you know, they have, like I said, expiration date and they needs to be like, you know, the, the plan needs to be uh, created in order to keep FaZe as one of the best teams and keep this rivalry going on. I, well, I want to first talk about the expiration date point because I, I think rain uh it, it's just that rain for me was not very impressive since 2018 but the resurgence that he's had for the last now five months has been really impressive and so i do you think that well when you say that he has an expiration date is because he's he's 27 right now so i think he still has got a year to go on this if he believes in the team when we when we talked to him at the cologne desk a little bit he was kind of like it, it almost seemed like he's renewing himself because it's like finally we have a team that can win tournaments so he be, and yeah, he, he he, he always kind of like was hibernating. Yeah, he's 27, like you said. But the thing to just keep in mind on those lineups from 2018 till 2021, right? Like what happened there? They had Adrian, Neo. Oh, you he's know, so, Neo. Yeah, he's really. It was. It was. Messy. Uh, it yeah. Tried to play entry in a lineup that doesn't have a dedicated IGL. That you know there is yeah. a mess all over the place. Brokey just came in. He's a young, you know, unexperienced player. Just. Try to fit yourself in a role of entry in a lineup like that, but your coach, you know, they didn't have a coach for a long time as well. It was like uh, there, there was nothing going on for him to, you know, so he can be used in a proper way. So they got the system right. He's playing mad, like, like like a madman in the last what, you know, <coughs> yeah, five months, yeah. whatever, right? But he has an expiration that, and I, as as, as I'm, if I'm GM. Right now, I'm not thinking for a year. Like I said, he may be having you know, a year, year and a half. I'm thinking seven years in ahead because what? Robs is 21, 22, Twist, 22, uh, Brocky, 22, right? The, all these players can play for six, seven years in this team, right? If they mm -hmm. keep the, the, the performance and the level on the, on, the, on the same note like they did in the last year, right? So I'm thinking seven years in advance. So who is, when I'm going to mm. say like maybe... 14 months before his contract is expired, I'm going to say, listen, we don't count on you on the next, in the next period. You know, we are going to try to look for a replacement for you. You work with his agent, you know, you, you put him in another team. You just, opa, sorry, you just uh, make, you know, just upgrade your team in time, right? The same thing goes for Harrigan. He's 32 years old, right? Just get frozen. Just get frozen. <laughs> Let's like, say but that's, frozen that's is a little bit less aggressive, and, but, you know... Yeah. Frozen may be, a, may be a way to go, right? Uh, Madden is another way to go, right? He proved himself uh, to be super aggressive. He made ends better. Like, it, there's, there's options. There's always going to yeah, be yeah. options. We spoke about at the beginning of this, uh, of this thing how deep the talent pool is everywhere, right? So you can mm -hmm. find a player. So it's just For a sure. matter of creating a plan, organizing it, and just executing it to keep your organization having an era more than 12 months, you know? Right. Because at the end of the year, they can still go back to the 2021 and just do nothing again, right? Oh, course, if you don't yeah. make if you don't make the proper proper adjustments. Yeah, I'll I'll bring it back to Thorne's initial point about how great this rivalry is, though, because I I think that it's clear. I think two of the best series this year have been Phase Navi. I think the Cologne Grand Finals, and then I I actually thought the upper bracket Katowice group stage BO3 that, really that they had too, yeah. was really good too. I think the third the another top game was phase between them and Cloud9 at Dallas actually. But even even then, those like two of the best series of the year for me were was this rivalry. You the blowout at Blast felt I, I don't know. That that felt like I don't know, phase were just didn't care or something weird. That that was odd. That was really strange to me. But if if they can just keep meeting in grand finals for maybe the next couple events or for the rest of the year at Rio, let's say, I'm, I'm not I'm not complaining at all this, because the, the Counter-Strike level is so high and you just know what you're going to get when it's a big stage between these two teams. Like, it, it is going to be the best Counter-Strike. In terms of actually tactics and act individuals playing, I don't think there's ever been a higher point in CSGO history. This is insane levels of CS and, and the calling is excellent. The clutch factor is crazy. The individual pop-offs are there. Everything that, that needs to be happening to make these games incredibly entertaining is happening. And they're, they're, it's not just because like it's bad CS. It's not because people are popping off because people are not trading. It's because these players are so good. They're pushing the game. Do you see why I get tilted, limits. dude? That like the fans of the losing team are like, oh, this fucking sucks. These are the best games ever, you moron. Your yes. problem is... You're 
your yeah. team just didn't win like the last round like if Navi had won those games you'd be called the best final ever like these are fucking sick oh, games man. like I mean, even when people were telling you like oh Navi's throwing on it and, like look at what they have to do to fucking come back like you have to win a billion CT rounds in a row yeah. what are you talking about and they did it yeah but <laughs> the know. thing is like the way I look at it like CS is a good like dish right is a perfect dish but we needed a little bit more spice right to make it even better you know to make it more like you know, eatable, sure, and the, yeah. the, the rivalry between these two teams is the, just the spice that we needed Agreed. in this event, right? Yes. And it's just the dish is great. Everybody is e eating yeah, it yeah. right now. Okay. How many viewers you saw the numbers like yes. in the finals? It's freaking crazy, right? And yes. obviously, there is a question of Navi, right? Like, what's going to happen with them? Who is is, is Electronic going to keep IGLing? Who are they going to bring as a fifth? Blade needs to do amazing work there. Like he he has been like one of the best scouts for young talents that I know. For sure. When it, especially yeah. for the CIS region, he needs to do a perfect job in replacing you know the player. They I don't know if they're gonna keep uh, SDY or not. Yeah, I'm not or, sure either. Uh, nobody knows, right? It's just when it comes to CIS lineups, it's always crazy. But he needs to make a right move together with Jorg, you know, and and see what they actually need and 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 to keep this, you know being the best or the second best at this team point at this point with what he did with picking bit and perfecto i'd rather he just pick a youngster as opposed to keeping sdy if i'm being completely honest because sdy despite having a couple nice moments like simple as even said in the post game interview something along the lines of sdy I didn't remember some grenades or something and you know it's, it's tough in these kinds of situations for him to remember everything that's been laid out for him for navi in these moments, but he's also the oldest player on this entire team, by the way. He's 25, everybody else, even Simple is, is 24. Electronic, I think, is uh, 23, and then and then you just have young younger guys than that, so why? it's kind of like, why would you get STY when you could look at someone, like, I would say probably Hedrick is a guy that was on the Navi uh, Academy team, and he's, he's pretty strong. He's a really strong player there, too, and if there's a reason that Navi keeps picking these people for their academy teams it, in my it's eyes. It's a good thing. It's a good thing that the player break is hitting right now. Yeah. So he's going to sit down, Navi or whatever like system they have in there, you know, they're going to sit down and see like what's the best thing that we can do for Navi to to remain the, you know, number 1 or number 2 for the next couple of years or whatever, right? So the, this break came just in a in a in a in a proper time for them, you know. And obviously there is a uh the political thing that you know they don't want to pick up russians obviously yeah exactly it's theory, just you know it's 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 a messy situation there you don't know what's going to happen there nobody knows and how it's going to play out there and it's uh it must be stressful especially for the players like simple you know and and, and you know it's 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 not easy, but like I said, the player break came in the right moment. They have some some work to do, and it's it's a lot of pressure. I wouldn't want to be there in their shoes right now because there is a lot of pressure right there. And uh, let's see what they do, right? I will say though, by the way, I do appreciate. This is why, by the way, if you're a pro player, I've tried to be kind to them in my own way, Kassad. I've tried to explain to pro players, look, we can all banter, but if you ever actually come at me, understand. I'm on the desk, I always get the last word, I do the show, I get the last word. So it, it, you can make your great line, but for example, if you just make it like so that it's funny to make fun of you, I'll have loads of material. So I'll give you an example. As soon as I saw that thing where, even though it was kind of a cool moment because it showed he doesn't care about second place, you know when Simple threw that like MVP medal or whatever into the crowd, or second place medal from K Cologne, and everyone was like, oh, I threw it. It's like the jokes write themselves. It's like, well, he'd already thrown the first place medal after map three, hadn't he? So fuck it, just throw <laughs> all the medals that way. See what I mean? I can do this all day, mate. I can do this all day. This is light work for me, motherfucker. So anyway, it's like Jake Paul versus Mayweather. I'll let you stay in the fight for a while just to fuck around, but, like, I will win. Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.